Ahmed Khalif, who's speaking of lawsuits, is suing Elon Musk and J.K. Rowling in a lawsuit that she filed to French authorities over alleged acts of av- aggravated cyber harassment after they led an outcry for her to participate in the Olympics. Now, you know, they was out here talking about, oh, it's not fair. She's a man. You shouldn't be having no trans person um, competing in the Olympics. Come to find out, she's not trans. She is biologically a woman, identifies as such. But people seem to forget about chemical imbalances, that there are some women that are more masculine and there are some men that are more feminine. There, there are women that carry a lot more testosterone in their system than a lot of dudes or estrogen and then vice versa. There's some guys out here that carry more estrogen in them than than you know, the other stuff. But then they want to sit up and think, oh, are they trans or whatever? That's not how she identified, but it's because some people fail biology, but y'all keep trying to get rid of shit. So how's anybody going to learn stuff? But then again, y'all all, all, y'all at y'all big age, JK with that strong ass jaw she got, and Elon Musk, who has had a lot of work done, it ain't helped no way. But word on the street is he has some work done too. <clears throat> y'all should know better. Now, Algerian boxer Imani Khalif, first of all, if she was trans, they would have killed her in her, in her hometown. Because isn't it illegal to be trans in Algeria? So it says Algerian boxer Imani Khalif has named Elon Musk in a lawsuit. Nabil Baudi, the Paris-based attorney of Khalif, confirmed to Variety that both figures were mentioned in the body of the complaint posted to the Anti-Online Hatred Center of the Paris Public Prosecutor's Office on Friday. The lawsuit was filed against Twitter, which under French law means it was filed against unknown persons. That ensures that the prosecution has all the latitude to be able to investigate against all people, including those who may have written hateful messages under pseudonyms, said Bowdy. The complaint nevertheless mentions famously controversial figures. Now, J.K. Rowling and Elon Musk was named in the lawsuit, among others, he said, adding that Donald Trump would be part of that investigation. Child, you got enough lawsuits, but you want to know something? You out here spreading propaganda, you need to be taken to court. Trump tweeted, so whether or not he is named in our lawsuit, he will inevitably be looked into as part of the prosecution. Now, Khalif, who on Saturday won the Olympic gold medal in the women's 66-kilogram boxing competition, spent much of the 2024 Olympics in Paris at the center of a noisy and unpleasant dispute about her gender eligibility that reverberated around the world. Despite being born female and not identifying as transgender or intersex and being backed by the International Olympic Committee, who asserted scientifically this is not a man fighting a woman, Khalid faced a torrent of accusations and abuse over her gender. Okay, so um, they also said most of the attacks came via social media, particularly on Twitter, and the controversy was escalated when high-profile figures stepped into the fray. In one message on her 14.2 million followers, I can't believe this bitch got this many followers, Rowling posted a picture of Khalif's fight with Italian boxer Angela Carini, accusing the former of being a man. Well, child, we're looking at JK. She could be mistaken for one, too. A man who was enjoying the distress of a woman, he just punched in the head. Musk, meanwhile, shared a post from swimmer Riley Gaines that claimed men don't belong in women's sports. The Twitter co-owner, well, sorry, the Twitter owner co-signed the message by writing, absolutely. The orange shit stain then posted a message with a picture from the fight with Karina accompanied with the message, I will keep men out of women's sports. Well, child, you can't even keep. Your hands off other women's pussy. Now, how are you going to be able to do that? You ain't even do shit when you was running the four, the first four years prior to Biden. So you going to keep men out of women's sports? Yeah, okay, sis. Bowdy also said that although the complaint mentions names, what we're asking is that the prosecution investigates not only these people, but whoever feels necessary in this case goes to court, they will stand trial. Now, Bowdy also claimed that while the lawsuit was filed in France, 
it could target personalities overseas, pointing out that the prosecutor's office for combat, combating sorry, online hate speech has the possibility to make requests for mutual legal assistance with other countries. He also added that there were agreements with the U.S. equivalent of the French office for combating online hate speech. Now, Logan Paul was also among those who attacked Khalif on social media, posting on Twitter following her win against Karini, saying, this is the purest form of evil unfolding right before our eyes. A man was allowed to beat up a woman on a global stage, crushing her life's dream while fighting for her deceased father. The delusion must end. But then he also deleted the post after admitting that he might be guilty of spreading misinformation. But regardless of whether or not you spread misinformation, who are you to go on social media to determine, you know, who should be doing stuff? Because quiet as it's kept, you being a YouTuber, some people say your ass shouldn't be fucking boxing. And that they be fixing boxing matches and stuff for you to win. So, um, I say take his ass to court, too. I don't care if you apologize. But you have to realize that when you are a public figure, you have a responsibility to not be going on social media spewing hatred and propaganda, which, you know, people like Elon Musk, or as I like to call it, Genocide Clyde, or his drag name, Sissy SpaceX, you know, they like to go and and he want, he bought Twitter so that way he could use this platform to leave it as a cesspool for hate speech. Now, don't get me wrong. Twitter already had its stuff on there anyway. There was a lot of hate, hateful ass people on there. But that was even more of a damn cesspool of ignorant and bigots and all kinds of other stuff. Although I do like the idea that they be having a lot of trending hashtags like they had yesterday. Trump is done. It probably still is trending. But I guess, you know, when things be hashtagging and the hashtag be hashtagging and hashtagging and hashtagging, even Elon can't deny that foolishness. And don't even get me started on his, in his disaster of an interview with Trump. But yeah, I feel like because in Europe, the thing is, hate speech couldn't have you fine and they could file lawsuits. You see, Nikki Doll is the latest person to file a lawsuit for hate speech being spewed or propaganda being spread about drag queens being P P D F files. You know, you gotta be careful with the way you say things, things of that nature. Or child effers, as he liked to refer to them as. So yeah, in Europe, you can't get away with the stuff that, you know, a lot of people in America like to hide behind the First Amendment and all that other stuff. But child, if Project 2025 having in that orange wide back shit stain becomes president again, you better expect that a lot of the things that we take for granted in this country, including hiding behind the First Amendment, will be gone. So I say all this to say, what do y'all think of this story? I mean, I'm here for Amani, you know, um, taking their ass to court. Because what y'all not going to do is run around and spread this narrative and say all kinds of crazy stuff and ruin my reputation and put my life on the line because people believe stuff. Because this could become a point, and I don't put nothing past nobody, because this become the same situation we had. Remember when they spread that propaganda about, you know, a sex trafficking ring or whatever in, the, in a pizza shop, and people actually believed that and somebody ended up hurt because of that propaganda? So... You can't put nothing past these people that have been radicalized. So when you go around spreading information, you're putting this woman's life in on the line and in harm's way because y'all want to go out here and tap, tap, tap your bigotry at certain people because you're trying to rile up a base because, you know, those endorphins, they start kicking in and it becomes, a you know, a whole situation. Y'all get off on that. You know, J.K. Pussy be puckering every time she talk about the damn trans community. So let me know what you guys think of this story in the comments down below. 